Hello, everyone. Welcome to August. I have a 10 cards, one kit video for you today using the August card kit of the month from Spellbinders. This one is butterfly themed and butterflies just seem to be all the rage lately, or maybe they've never really ever gone out of popularity, but it's called Butterfly Sparkle. So let me pull the contents out of this box and show you everything that's in the card kit before we get to our 10 card projects. They always have these so nicely wrapped up. I'll just pull the tissue paper out from under the kit contents and start with the kit contents page. So this shows you the dies from the kit. There are some cute stars, a butterfly and a frame. And you always get some adhesive, some foam and some double sided tape strips. Here are the 10 envelopes and the 10 card bases. These are so nice just to have all ready to go so you don't have to stop to make them yourself. You get some pretty blue teal sequins, different sizes. And then I'll open this pack of die cut shapes at the end. This is a beautiful pack of layered butterfly stickers. I love it when they include these kind of 3D elements to put on your cards. You always get chipboard stickers and it's double sided. You have a lot of great sentiments and some pretty images. So this is another pack of stickers, but these are sparkle or glitter sentiments. The stamp set also includes lots of pretty sentiments. These are great for the insides of your cards too. My favorite one says to my darling friend. And then there's a longer one that says, by being yourself, you put something wonderful in the world that was not there before. And then you get a few images. So let's take a look at the dies. You get a small frame. Cuts the inside as well as the outside of this frame. You get three stars. And a layering set with the butterfly. The sentiment says smile often. And then the stars are also layering. And this is the body to the butterfly. And then here are the second layer to the star dies. And there are three different sizes, so very pretty. I always like to store these on my Spellbinders diamond magnet. So let me pull that out. And just put those to the side of my desk so I don't lose any of these small pieces. Okay, now for the pattern paper. Let me pull it out of the cellophane baggie. You get two of each design. They're very lightweight and they're single sided, but they're very eclectic. So there is something for everyone in this pad. I like the gold foiling details that a lot of them have. And I love that newsprint pattern. Some pretty butterflies. That one's cute with the notepad pattern. I always use up a lot of their pattern paper, but I never end up using the whole thing just because there is so much of it. I love that text block and the scallops. And those beautiful black and white butterflies and a few floral pieces. You always get a piece of double-sided mirror cardstock. And you get a blue and a dark blue. You get a couple of pinks, a light and a dark. A pretty gray and a black. White and kind of an off-white or a cream. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the die cut shapes next. Like the pattern paper, you get two of each shape. And I'm just going to lay these out on my work mat. But I am going to speed up this video because there are a lot of these cute shapes and it would take a long time to go through them piece by piece. This time you don't get many florals, but you do get a lot of sentiments and different shapes. You always get a few tags. And these are really great for collaging if you like to do collage cards or collaging in your scrapbooks. These are perfect for that. I'm going to hold up some of my favorites here. 
So I really like this little cat holding the star under its paw. <laughs> so cute. And then I like this cat on the moon, and the cat has little wings. And the butterflies, you get a few of these different sizes, but the butterflies are cute. And then you have this little girl with the French braid down her back and fairy wings. Those are my favorites, but they're all pretty fun. Okay, let's start out with card number one. I went straight for the newsprint pattern paper. I loved that. And it was subtle enough that I thought it would be fun to stamp over it. So I'm going to use this dandelion stamp, as well as the butterfly from the stamp set. There's another little dandelion stamp that I'm putting at the bottom. And I'm just going to stamp with my Versafine Onyx Black ink, which is a nice dark, thick ink. So I'll pick these up with the door of my Mini Misty. And then I'll stamp these up. It would look cute with a colored ink as well. But I thought I'll just stick with the kind of the black and white theme on this card with a little touch of pink included. I ended up stamping this out several times, but I only show one stamping for the sake of time. I think I stamped it out about three times total. Okay, let's pull this out of the Misty. Isn't that cute on that newsprint pattern? Okay, so I'm going to use the darker pink cardstock for my sentiment. And I'm using the sentiment from the set, and it says, Make a Wish. I'll just stamp this at the corner of this piece of cardstock. And then I'll use one of my older Spellbinders fishtail dies to cut it out. I'll pop it up with some foam squares. This is the only dimension that this card is going to have. But I'll put three little squares behind it. And I'm going to pop it up just under the dandelions. I thought that it needed a little touch of color, so after I attach it to the pale pink cardstock, I'm going to pull out my colored pencils. These are my Karen Dash colored pencils. And I'm going to give the butterfly a little bit of color on its wings. I'm using yellow, orange, and pink to do this. And then I'm going to add even a little bit of color to the dandelions, and I don't color them in with yellow. I'm just using the pale pink again. So let's attach this to the card base. I'm using the double-sided adhesive that's included in the kit. It's really good stuff. Um, I do get lazy a little later on and just start using my dot liner again. Just for the sake of time. The last touch um, on this card is going to be some of their new Onyx gems. I love these things. <laughs> they also have them in opal white. I love the black and the white. I use these, I think, so far more than any of the colored ones. So here's a close-up look at the finished card. And then on this one, I did decorate the inside with some leftover pattern paper and another die cut shape butterfly. Isn't that fun? It was so fast and easy to put together. You don't have to even color it in if you didn't want to. Okay, let's move on to card number two. I'm starting with the sentiment. This one is going to say to my darling friend. I love that sentiment. And I'm stamping it on the cream-colored cardstock. I'll use the same fishtail die to cut this one out. Here it is, all ready to go. I chose a piece of floral pattern paper to use. I was going to use that little typewriter, but I end up not using it. So I'll attach the gray cardstock first onto the card base. And then another piece of the Pell pink cardstock, and I cut that out using the Spellbinders hemstitch rectangle dies. And then in the very center, I'll use my beautiful black and pink pattern paper. So I decided to pull out some of the dimensional butterfly stickers, and I'm using a die cut shape doily 
I'll just center it on this little paper doily. And then this I'm going to center, well, kind of at the top of the card, using little dabs of glue to adhere it down. I found two frilly pieces, die cut shapes in the pack, and I really liked these. So I'm going to glue one kind of at the top corner. I'll just tuck it under the doily. And then one I'll put opposite it. Just again, using my all-in-one tool to kind of pick up the doily and tuck it under. Next, I'm going to put down the sentiment using some more foam. The last touch will be some silver gems. These are very subtle and I'm making sure to put them on the black of the cardstock so they show up a little bit better. <laughs> and here is a close up. On the inside I have that pretty fairy die cut shape and the sentiment says beautiful in every way. Card number three is a very fast and simple card to put together. I'm using this gold foiled pink pattern paper that looks kind of like a starburst. I cut out the center of it and I'll attach it to the white card base. This is going to be a lands... no, it's going to be... sorry. <laughs> it was going to be a landscape card, but I, I end up turning it into a portrait style card. So I'll use the sticker sentiments and it's going to say smile and shine. The smile I'm going to curve around this butterfly. I don't have the butterfly taped down yet, but I'll remove the acetate from the back. I didn't add any extra glue behind this piece. I usually do, but this one was very sticky, so I'm not worried about it moving or falling off. And next we'll kind of curve the sentiment that says shine underneath. And then I have the and there at the side. I'll attach the dots over the eyes. And I'm calling this card done. Here is a close up look. That butterfly is so pretty, the 3D butterfly. And I did not decorate the center of this card yet. Moving on to card number four. I'm starting out with two different pieces of pattern paper. The pretty foiled stars and then this notepad pattern. I'm going to hide the seam with a strip of the double-sided mirror cardstock. And then I can just tr trim off the excess. This card is actually one of my favorites from this set of cards. I'm using my long sharp scissors to trim off the double-sided mirror cardstock. I popped this in my mini Misty just so I could stamp out the sentiment and make sure I get a nice stamp of that. And it says, you have everything you need to make your dreams come true. I chose a chipboard sticker. I haven't attached it yet, but I'm going to add glue behind it. They aren't very sticky, these chipboard stickers. I just like to add a little bit of glue for some extra reassurance. And then there's another chipboard sticker that says magical, and I'm going to thread on a bow at the end of this, just with some black licorice twist twine from Spellbinders. Last, I'm adding some gold gems. And then that's all there is to this card. Here's a close-up look. I really like the colors on this card. I think it turned out really pretty. And then again, I didn't decorate the inside yet, but I am planning on it later. <laughs> okay, next card. We're going to pull out some of the dies from this kit. I'll use the frame die and the butterfly. I attached a piece of black cardstock onto the card base first, and then this really cute, happy piece of striped pattern paper. 
Inside the frame is another pattern paper, just this pretty green pattern paper. Then I cut out the frame again using gold pattern uh, cardstock. I'll glue that in the center. The sentiments I cut out with more black cardstock as well as some pink. And I'm going to put the black shadow behind it. So I'm putting little dabs of glue on the pink word. And I'll glue that onto the black so that you can kind of see a shadow. That just helps to make it pop a little bit more off of the card. I cut out the butterfly using some black cardstock as well as some pink. And that's the same pink I used on the sentiment. I also cut it out with gold. I wanted to put a gold shadow underneath the pink cardstock. And then I'm going to glue this just at the bottom of the frame using some foam squares. To add a little bit of, a little more sparkle to this card, I used the pink opalescent sequins. And here it is all done. Card six is going to be really simple, but it is so sweet looking. I'm attaching some blue butterfly patterned paper onto a piece of the mirror gold cardstock, just right down the center. And then I will attach this piece to the white card base. I like having the card base show because it has a pretty texture to it. It looks kind of like a linen texture. So it looks really pretty. I'm doing my best to center this onto the card base. All of my butterflies I'm popping up with foam squares. And then the sentiment comes from the die cut shapes as well, and it says, have a magical birthday. We'll just put that in between these two butterflies. I'll add some of the blue sequins from the kit. I like how these blue sequins just pop on this card. They really make the patterned paper, or they really go along well with the patterned paper, I should say. And here is a close-up look. So just a fun, quick and easy birthday card. I'm using two different pieces of patterned paper for card number seven. So I thought I'd use these beautiful peach colored flowers on a piece of the cream colored cardstock. And then we can attach this to a white card base. Since there were no flowers in the die cut shapes, I have to revert to creating my own using this pattern paper. I'm just going to cut out this pretty flower. I'm cutting it out so there is a little bit of a white border around it. And then I'm going to use this on the bottom of my frame. I'm stopping here to stamp out the sentiment. And again, I'm using the one that says to my darling friend. And I'll cut it out with the same fishtail die. And again, that's another piece of the cream colored cardstock. So the little flower, I'm going to glue down flat using some dot liner. The sentiment's going down flat as well. I'm just going to kind of put it at an angle above the flower. And then I cut out the frame using some Portobello craft cardstock. And it looks really nice around this black text block pattern paper. The last thing I'm going to do is add these peach sequins around the card. And here it is all done. It's kind of fun making your own die cut shapes by using the pattern paper. And I thought those flowers on that pattern paper were so pretty. Card eight is going to be a fun summertime card. And I'm going to use some gold foiled 
cardstock on the card base first. Next, I'll put down the scalloped pattern paper. It's so cute. I'm just going to center this on the gold mirror cardstock. Then I have two strips of paper. These are the cardstocks from the kit, black and pink. And I'll attach these next. I want these two strips to be wide enough so that they can encompass the bike die cut shape that I'm going to use. I don't want it hanging off the edge at all. So I'll hold up the bicycle just to make sure it's wide enough for the bike. I'll just make it a little bit wider. There we go. The bicycle, I'm going to pop up with some foam squares. And then I'll attach the sentiment right underneath. This says, filled with happiness. So this is just kind of a general greeting card you can send out anytime. I have two more die cut shapes. These are dandelions. They are really pretty gold foiled dandelions. And I'll just kind of tuck these behind the bike. These are going down flat. And then for a touch of sparkle, I'll add some onyx black gems around this panel just to bring in the black of the scallops and the black strip of cardstock. I had trouble deciding where to put these. I usually use three around my cards. And I like to use the three different sizes. And here's a close up look. I didn't get to all of the die cut shapes I wanted to use in this video, but I am going to be creating some off camera just because the die cut shapes were so fabulous. Card number nine involves collaging. I love collaging and I'm starting out with a black canvas here. This piece of pink striped cardstock is so cute. I'm just going to use a strip of that down the middle of the black cardstock. I put it in front of a piece of white paper so you could see the card. It kind of, when it's black, it gets kind of lost in my work mat. So the tag is a die cut shape and I'm going to thread a little bow into it. This is more of the black licorice twine. I use this a lot. It just looks so nice with your black sentiments. And it's not a very thick twine, so it goes through the mail easily. Let me, I'm gonna trim these down just a little bit later. I don't, I didn't know how long I wanted to keep them. But I put some foam adhesive behind the tag. And then I'm going to put this on an angle down the center of the card. And now for the collaging. I got my base all ready to go. So one of my dear friends is moving out of state. It's not too far, but it's still far enough that it makes me sad. So I was thinking of her when I was putting this card together. So other ways we can get in contact, of course, is through the phone. This one says, some friendships are timeless. I'm using foam squares on the side that's going to hang off of the tag. And then I'll use a little bit of glue as well, just to keep it secure on the card. This is just going to go right above the phone. I found a really cute butterfly stamp, which is another way it's fun to keep in touch with friends is with letters and cards, sending little fun things out in the mail. So I'll glue this up the top. And again, I'm going to use some foam squares on the side that's hanging off the side of the tag. I'm going to add a bunch of the little star die cut shapes. And then for a last touch, 
I'm using another butterfly. This one is a pretty black and white butterfly and I'll just kind of tuck it under the tag. I'm adding some silver gems on the tag. And that's all there is to this card. It's just a fun one. It's busy, but it's fun to look at. I thought it was so cute. So I'm going to send this to my friend right away. <laughs> I miss her already. I think I will cut this bow down just a little bit. And I could always glue that in place if I wanted to, the ends of that bow. I added a little star at the bottom, which is a chipboard sticker. Now for card number 10. I had to use this cute notebook pattern paper again. It just has a pretty color tone to it. And then I need to make my own flowers, so I'm using a die cut shape. And I'm cutting off the picture that these were sitting in. This time I can't leave a white border around it because of the black picture it was sitting in. So I'm cutting it right to the edges. And then there's my little floral piece. I'm going to use this bird cage, and then the flower will be at the bottom. But I, I wanted to tie another black bow. It went really well with the lines of this bird cage. I'm just going to add a dot of glue to attach this. I was too lazy to get my uh, glue dots out, <laughs> so hopefully it stays in place. I used some more foam squares behind the bird cage. And I'm just trying to get that straight, so sorry my head gets in the way here for a sec. And then the bird, I put more foam squares behind the bird and I'm putting it at the top of the cage. And my apologies if you hear those cicadas. They are so loud tonight. And I think they really like the tree that's just outside my craft room here. So the sentiment says, you are free to fly, and it comes from the chipboard sticker pack. I'll add a few more of the onyx black gems around this card. And the last one, I couldn't decide quite where to put it. <laughs> there we go. I'll put it right next to the bird. And here's a close-up look at card number 10. It's a very soft, pretty card. I hope you all were inspired by this 10 Cards 1 Kit video. And I hope you have fun with your card kit once you get it, if you're a subscriber. And if you're interested in subscribing, I will have the link to this kit in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope that you can find some time today to sit down and make some fun cards and enjoy your day. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.